Hello, my name is Halfpick, and today we are going to be covering Fenor's mod, Mine Factory. To get started, you're going to need several iron ingots in order to craft the basic building block for the mod called Steel Ingots. So take one piece of iron, surround it with four pieces of coal, and you get five steel ingots for your trouble. Take one steel ingot and one piece of redstone, and you receive a conveyor belt block. Make a hollow circle on the crafting table and place a sapling in the center and you receive the fertilizer. An iron hoe gives you the planter. An iron sword gives you the harvester. Now, on to setup. All these machines work off of redstone current. Uh, they receive a signal from redstone and they'll perform their, their duties. The planter, which is here, requires at least one dirt block above it. And you must also fill the planter's interface in with whatever you're going to be planting, be it saplings for trees or seedlings for wheat. So here we have a 3x3 three three block above our planter, which is in the center block underneath. And above that, hanging, uh, pointing towards the center block with room enough for the wheat to grow, is the fertilizer. The fertilizer also requires redstone current to activate, and you place bone meal inside this and it will fertilize any block that's below it. Um, in this cur current configuration, it will fertilize this 3x3 three three block once the sap or seedlings have been planted. This block setting here is the harvester, and the harvester once placed can be rotated to face any of the four directions just by right clicking it, and you want to make sure that the animated side is facing the plants that you wish to harvest. In this setup here for the wheat, if you place the harvester in the center, it will harvest all nine of these blocks once it's been activated. It should also be noted that fertilizers require another block to be placed on. They will not place as a block by themselves, and they can stick to any side of a block except for the top. And you can also power them effectively by attaching them to a block and running a piece of redstone over the set block. So. Here we go, we're going to have a one button push and get nine seeds planted, then fertilized, then harvested. Just like that. And once more for the people in the cheap seeds. There you go. Now, for saplings, we have a similar setup for trees, but the only difference is instead of a single uh, button emitted pulse, we're going to need constant redstone inputs for the harvester to chop down the tree. So instead of the button, we have a lever, and instead of a 3x3 three three dirt area, we have one dirt block with the automated planter with saplings instead. So throw the switch, redstone current stays on, and the harvester chops down the tree. Just turn it off, turn it back on, and you can keep doing this as long as you have bone meal and saplings available. Another item that Fenor bundled with his mods was the allocator mod from Faf's mods. Thank you, Faf. And the allocator takes items from the input side, which is the arrow facing the hole, and outputs them through the opposite side. If you place a chest on the output side, it will deposit items in that chest, and if you place an item inside the allocator, it will only intake those items. So here we have one set to wheat, and one set to seeds, and then once we press the button to do our automatic harvest, they go down the conveyor belt line and 
voila, they are sucked in by the allocators. Allocators work off of a redstone pulse, so to automate the allocators taking in items for us, we have hooked them up to a redstone repeater, which is this setup right here. Um, your redstone diode must be set to at least three, otherwise this, the torch will burn out and your repeater will stop. Same goes for two, it just takes longer. But three is stable. It should also be mentioned that whenever you uh, exit your map and come back, uh, or, or reload your map, you will need to reset your repeaters and simply take off the redstone torch and replace it, and your repeater will go back to work for you. To place redstone on top of an allocator like this, have a block beside it, target the block, and right click, and it will place the redstone on top of the allocator, which is very handy for doing a setup like such as this. Conveyor belts can be placed on any flat surface, and once placed, you right click them, and one right click will rotate the conveyor belt 90 degrees in a clockwise fashion. They can't be placed on any solid block, and they cannot be placed on a half block, such as a single piece of uh, stone tile, or wood tile, or uh, cobblestone tile. If you have one up higher than another, and you place one beside that, it will create an escalator, and escalators will carry items up to the uh, to the level that it's above them. Uh, there is no down escalator for obvious reasons. You just let the blocks fall down, and gravity will do the work for you since height is not an issue for dropping item blocks. You cannot jump on the conveyor belts, so they can be incorporated into monster traps. Um, I'm not sure if spiders can be captured in such a way, but definitely creepers, skeletons, and zombies would be susceptible to this. So there you have it, Fenor's Mod, Mine Factory, and Faf's Allocator. If you're interested in learning more about either of these mobs, please visit the Minecraft forums. And that link can be found in the comments to this video. Thank you very much, and as always, have fun and mine safely.